What's up guys? Troy from Tad Catters. Welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to catch some shad. Alright, like I said guys, today we're going to be catching some shad. And a lot of times that can be very, very hard for somebody that fishes from the bank. And uh, especially when in the winter time. But there's always a few places that you can go that are going to hold shad year round. And uh, we're at one of them right now. Always look in uh, backwaters, anything that doesn't have a lot of current in it, uh, that's kind of shallow. And the reason I think that they come back in here is because this water heats up faster than the actual main river does. Um, shad is my go-to bait and you know they can be hard to catch in the winter time but just remember you can always catch them in these backwaters, creek mouths. Uh, a lot of times you can find them when the water gets up you can find them in old ponds that have uh, overflows that go into the river. We're gonna throw the net a few times, see if we can't get a few, so stay tuned. Now, I throw my net a little weird, especially for a big net. I know there's some easier ways to throw it, but this is just how I know how to do it. And it works for me, so. We got one shad, and as a bonus fish, monster crappy. That is a stud. A lot of people eat these things, but I don't. I usually keep the ones about this size, any bigger than that. I keep them. These little guys, these, throw them back. Let those ones grow so you can come back next year and catch them when they're big. We let these little guys like that go. Let me get my bucket. All right, guys, we had to cut that part a little bit short because uh, my phone was going dead, and that's what I was recording on. But I wanted to hit on a few more things, and uh, here they are. So first thing is, as you heard me saying in the first part of the video, you, you can always find enough shad to use in these backwaters. You know, they hold shad year round. I catch them there year round. You're always going to find enough, at least enough to use for the day. Another thing is, is, don't be one of these guys that goes out and catches 200 two inch shad and you know, you only end up using 20 or so of them. And then, then the rest of them get thrown on the bank for the coons to eat them or, or thrown back in the river. And you know that that that's a waste. Don't don't be one of those guys. You know, take what you can get, take what you're gonna use, and uh, let the rest go so they can breed and 
you know, for the future generations. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps some of you bank guys on catching your good bait. And um, if you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe, like it, and share it.